In the kickoff, Monster will receive. And Dion will take it at his own five. And he'll be brought down at the 25, and that's where Monster will get it going. Had an easy road to the semifinals there. He did, and listen, he's the 15th ranked player in the world. We can say he's 15th uh, on the Madden Championship Series standings. He has been to EA Sports Majors. Uh, him and Scheman, the only two guys in this event that have been to uh, the, the creme de la creme of a Madden tournament. Uh, so he brings a lot of experience here in this game. As David Johnson picks up two yards, second and eight. Massa on your left. The man Nini on your right. If I'm working the camera, I want to be working on Nini. You, you, you basically don't have to do anything. You just stand there. Because he smiles. doesn't move. Yeah. And it's picked off. Nini. Show me a smile, cameraman. That man better be smiling. That's a way you start this game off if you're Nini. Go check a replay right here. You can see closing in. That was user all the way. Mel Blunt interception. That's a way you start if you're Nini. We're used to the steel curtain coming up on the hits. But this time it's an INT. And Nini with a great start here, the 45. Tyrod in the pocket, got to get rid of it. Yeah, let, let, let's talk about what we just saw right there. We have a first time in this tournament where we're, we're seeing someone contain a mobile quarterback, preventing him to get out of the pocket. Take a look at this. Where can you go? You can't escape. That's why he has to step up in the pocket. You get a block shed, and then you get the sack. So that's the great adjustment right there by Monster, recognizing he's going up against a mobile quarterback. I can't let them get outside of the, the numbers, the hashes, and get from sideline to sideline. So a uh, good D on the first possession there from Monster. And now the question will be, where's your spy in the middle? You know, you control the edge. Can Tyrod get loose? Second and 15 at the 50-yard line. He's got the low left. And Jerry Rice toe-tapping at the 37. He gets into a third and manageable right there. Nice corner pattern. That was a high-low read. Instant replay. Take a look right there. Toe-tap on the sideline. The GOAT. Uh, big play right there for Nini. Shout-out to the replay guy today. Crushing. 99 yeah. overall replay. Third and two. Tyrod in the gun. And they'll hand it to Lynch, and Lynch will truck his way to the 31. Yeah, good run right there. He could have cut that run out the left side edge for a more uh, aggressive play, the ability to, to get a bigger play, but he goes for the first down, the conservative play uh, for the first down there for Nini, running between the tackles, off the tackle there. Bunch to the right. The one on one. Tyrod looking downfield. He might take off. <laughs> And he'll dive to get out of bounds at the 27. Superman. Superman. Did we work on that? How do, did we do, do that? Do I owe you a Coke? I what what so. just happened there? No, I, I, Pepsi. I'll you buy owe you a me, Pepsi instead. You owe me a Pepsi. So second and six. And Jimmy Graham will lose four. Yeah, so right now, with the four-line front, the defensive front for Monster, that's what's going to be the advantage for him in his defensive uh, battle between uh, the mobile quarterback, Tyra Taylor, and Nini, and his defensive unit. Uh, he'll be able to contain the quarterback on any given play. And the, the issue is Nini can't identify which side the, the contain will happen here, because he can do either edge, and it's going to keep him in the pocket. And I want to see how this keeps unfolding throughout this game. Third and 10 from the 31. Empties the backfield. Taylor throws off his back foot. And good coverage there from Ramsey on Pryor. Yeah, it's a great way to start the game, though, for Nini here. He got away with a couple ones. Uh, throws right there. He throws in a, a, a single coverage, uh, but can't make the diving catch. He's going to settle for a field goal here. But you get the big interception. You come back, you get a field goal, get on top of the uh, on top of Monster, the number one seed. Uh, one thing I'll say, in, in the past with Monster, where we've seen him get in trouble is like in the Madden Classic. Uh, he can get into a little bit of an issue where he starts throwing a lot of interceptions. And at the start of this game, you know, his second or third throw, he throws the pick. So now I got to start to wonder, are we going to see that monster in this game? Is he going to start turning the ball over because he gets so pass happy? Semi-final number one, monster trying to go back to work after that early INT. Didn't cost him too much, though. Able to stand tall, hold him to a field goal. Yeah, good defense. Something unique he does here. Put David Johnson out at uh, a receiver. He's a halfback, but he puts him at receiver. And he's going to air it out to Jones, and it's picked off. 
What a play by Sean Taylor. And as we said, that's chalk one up for the old Gibster right there. Gibster Thomas, they see an interception. He will want to throw the ball downfield, but phenomenal play right there on that sideline for the interception. Already two picks in this one for Monster. And there's a beast mode going to work. Run off the right side, and Nini still not giving us a smile. At some point, this man, I'm going to make him smile. He's going to give us a smile. I'll tell him a bad joke. Tell him something. I think if he smile. gets $3,500, he's heading to Burbank. We might see the pearly whites from Nini. Second and 11 after the one yard loss by Lynch. Taylor has time. Got to get rid of it. I like that. I like that. That's a good idea. That's, that's a good playmaker right there. What that means, you take control, the receiver underneath. Hey, I want you to go here. He sends him there. A little miscalculation there, overthrow Tyra Taylor. But I like the, the, the fluidity there. I like the freestyle play uh, that he's playing right now uh, on Nini off the side of the ball. So third and 11 from the 30. Leading by three is Nini. Good heat. An absolute dart to Jones, gonna be close to the marker and they'll give him a first down. Yeah, he got away with him right there, throwing off his back foot and he delivers for the first down. It, not only does he deliver the, the strike, as he said, but he hangs on to it in traffic. So they go to Lynch, Lynch fall forward for three. And they're gonna call it two and a half, second and eight. We saw him do this in the quarterfinals, really limiting the possessions of his opponent. It's su super important when you're playing a guy like Monster who wants to put up points in a hurry. And, and to get those turnovers in the early part of the game is a huge momentum boost. And he finds Randy Moss, and he holds on at the 39-yard line. He's in plus territory once again. Yeah, a nice little seam pass right there in between uh, the deep defenders and in between the underneath defenders. So he gets the ball in perfect position for the first down. So first and 10 from the 39. Hey, you see the, you're able to get outside the pocket again, Tyrod Taylor. And Taylor, baseball slide at the 28 yard line. And it's another first and 10, so a methodical drive for Nini. Yeah, and Nini's showing the experience he's been playing Madden since he was five years old. If I do the math on that, he's 22 years he's been playing Madden. So he's showing all that experience here right now today. And Jimmy Graham spins away, and he's inside the red zone at the 13-yard line, and he'll have the lead at the end of the first quarter. That's the that's the first quarter that you dreamed of last night before you're coming to this tournament. You're laying down, you're by yourself, you're you're getting ready, mentally preparing for the tournament. You're you're going through how do I want my my first quarter, my drives to go. That's exactly what you wanted there. Two interceptions. You're moving the ball well offensively, and you have the lead with the ball in the two, uh, uh, second quarter. So first and 10 at the 13, and there is beast mode, but Lawrence Taylor willing to rise to the challenge. Well, first time we call his name today, it won't be the last, I'm sure, but in the red area of the field here, Scott, really difficult to score. The field, instead of becoming a vertical game, becomes more of a horizontal game from sideline to sideline. Very difficult to find open places to deliver uh, passes for, for positive yards. So second and nine from the 12, Taylor. Gives it to Moss. And Randy cannot shake free. So we'll do it again, it'll be third and nine. Yeah, and that's what we were talking about there. A horizontal game, you have more defenders that can protect sideline to sideline. So those drags that we see on, when the ball's back further away from that area, they're not as effective in this area. You need to get the ball to Jimmy Graham back of the end zone, the only where they can catch it. And Rice. Close to the first down, and he'll call it fourth and inches. Oh, we got the first big decision in this game here. It's a cat and mouse game we get here. Do you go quarterback sneak? If they show you the quarterback sneak's locked, then you gotta go halfback toss. And he will toss it to Lynch. He gets a block, and he gets six. And just like that, I, I like that. He, you know, he sees that the sneak isn't there. He, he predetermined that he was gonna call the toss, anticipated the sneak defense. He comes out, tosses the ball, gets one great block from his fullback, and he's in up 10, nothing. Here, look at the block right here. A little seal off that edge. And let's be Beautiful. honest, Dion's not block shedding anybody. Nobody. <laughs> no, he's not. 11 play drive, taking off a majority of that first quarter, and he's got a 10-point lead for the underdog 
playing the number 15th ranked in the world, Mazda. And just to put this in perspective, Meany Meany ranked 122nd in the world. <laughs> well, he's got it. Think about the difference. He's up 10 nothing right now, playing the game of his life. He's held Monster to 13 yards, and he's picked him off twice. And goes nowhere on first down, so second and 10. Yeah, and this is where we've seen Monster, I guess a flaw in his game is, is the turnover issues. He throws a lot of interceptions, especially when he gets down. And, and it's and listen, it's because he's an aggressive player. It, that's part of his strategy, it's part of his game plan. And, and every now and again, that's what can happen. You could run into an uh, opponent or a game where you start turning the ball over. I can tell you what, from watching the first two games, Reynolds has not carried the ball once. No, he's not the guy. You can, you can when you see number six in the backfield there, it's pass commit time. I mean, he is not handing the ball off. Good watch that. And that'll bring up third down. Nice job getting in there, putting the pressure. And now Favre's gonna have to come up with a little magic here on third down. A little stick work right there. He's using that all the way. That's a nice pass. That was the three Wide interception. open is Julio. Threw an interception on that pass last time, but this time, good pass lead there. Gets a big conversion. Getting close again here. The sh shotgun pass to Moss. And he dropped it, and it was nearly picked off the turf by Barr. Yeah, right there. <laughs> that's the type of play that Barr, that's why you get a bar on your roster. You go out and pick one up. Second and 10. Got the snap off before the two minute warning, but can't get the pass off. That's going to bring up a third and 10. Boy, if Needy can get a stop here. Quick pass to Brendan Cooks. And that was right at the yard to gain. First and 10. Yeah, and what's important here for Moss is you're in field goal range, so you really need to make sure that you get a field goal on this drive. You can't turn it over here or go get greedy and you get into a fourth down situation. You need to take your points. Uh, the way this game is going, the way Nini is controlling the clock and his, his uh, ability to control the line of scrimmage, you really need to make sure you make this a one possession game. Look for a field goal here if you're in the monster. Second and two. Watch it inside. Great stuff in the middle there. So they'll do it again on third down. Third and two. It's so tough down in the red zone. Let's see if he gets the ball up high to one of his big receivers back in the end zone here. Still can get a first down, just two yards the game. And he'll hand it off. Barr lays the big hit, but not before David Johnson gets the first down. It'll be first and goal from the five. A little unconventional halfback draw right there. You gotta like that. Clock ticking away here, one minute to go. We'll go back to the running game. Falls to the three yard line. It'll be second and goal. Clock's ticking away. I like that he's wasting the clock, but right now, not using his timeouts here, not trying to conserve the, the clock here to try and get the single, ball back single. for possession of his own at the end of the half. Watch 84, watch 84. Here we we'll see some timeouts after this play. Three, 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 three. 30 seconds to go in the half. Everybody's to the right. He rolls that way. Good throw away. And just throws it away with 21 seconds. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good throw away. That's aware of the situation. We've seen a couple of guys in this tournament get into troubles when they force those throws in the end zone there, and you just can't. It usually results in turnovers. Uh, good throw away right there for Monster. Monster's gonna use a timeout. Didn't like what he saw there on third and goal. And boy, Nini playing some tough coverage down here. Good red zone D, Mark the champion. He smiled. <laughs> And he won't be smiling now because that's a touchdown from Monsta with 19 ticks remaining in the half. Good drive. That's a good bounce back drive right there. Make it a, a field goal game right here. You can see inside handoff. He breaks one tackle right there, gets in the end zone, falls forward. That's where you guys can go with a back like David Johnson. A big bruising back will fall forward for you, but also has the speed to be effective as a receiver out of the backfield. 14 plays, eating up most of the second quarter, and Dion almost spun out of that at the 35-yard line. 
13 seconds to go. With all your timeouts, so you can take a couple shots downfield here, trying to get into field goal range here. Why not? You got nothing. You got nothing to lose here. You might as well throw it downfield. Watch the pressure off that edge. Left edge. Watch Julio Jones here coming across the formation. He'll move Lynch to pick up the blitz. Coverage. Dragon Julio, nobody was there, and he'll throw it away with six seconds to go in the half. Yeah, not much you can do now here. Uh, even with all your timeouts, just not enough time on the clock. You're going to see one last play here. Swerve it downfield, maybe inside handoff. you got to feel good going in the half. Up three. It's number 15 player in the world. And that's how half number one will end. So Nini, three-point lead here in semifinal number one. They'll face the winner of Scheming and SC. That game's coming up next. Nini gets ball at half. This is shaping up to be the game plan he wanted here. He gave up a big third and 10, a big long pass to Julio Jones. That's really the only big play he's given up thus far. Yeah, he's been, done a great job at, at defending those quick uh, play action plays from Monsa over the middle of the field. He's kind of usering down that left sideline. You'll see it when Monsa gets the ball back, but phenomenal defensive performance so far from Nini. Pistol formation. Tyrod Taylor. Jimmy Graham with his hand in the dirt play action. And he comes to Julio Jones. Can't hold on. Big, big hit. Separate man from ball right there. That's why you go out and get the big hitters on your squad. You might be able to catch it over the middle, but when they get hit like that, they will certainly drop it. I like the empty look from Nini in this game. There's a different look, different approach. He knows that Monster doesn't really want to generate a ton of pressure. He plays a lot of coverage. So I like him putting five guys out on, on the line of scrimmage. Yeah, it worked for him in the first game, and this time he throws it into coverage. And there is Barron, that out of position linebacker, picks him off at midfield. Yeah, and just like that, we're paying him homage and he makes a mistake there. You can see he has a underneath cross open. He went to the deep post, but just a phenomenal user play by Monza. Instead of going with the cross, Monza dropped to the post uh, and made a great play there. High formation, David Johnson dots the eye and goes absolutely nowhere. Houston in on the stop. And here we go. This is a great opportunity now for Monza to get back in this one. The big interception, the big user pick. Now down three here, just shy of field goal range at this point. Second and 12 at the 47 yard line. Play clock under 10. Far. Threw in a coverage there, Monster's gotta be careful. He's already thrown two picks. Yeah, this one. yeah, he forced that one. He wanted to go to the deep corner. Watch, deep corner, but it's usered by Nini. That forces, as pressure is starting to collapse the pocket there, he throws the ball to the underneath cross. But bad mistake, bad lead, but he gets away with one there. Third and 12, bunch to the left. Randy Moss is solo right. Motion across the formation. Favre. Had a man open underneath. Now he goes to him late, and that's not going to be enough for the first down. Now, now you get in another tough spot here. You're potentially in field goal range here if you're Monsta. But you're going to go for it here, try to push the tempo of this one here in the second half. He does have team of the year, Justin Tucker. Oh, he can make that. So, he, you know, Tucker's range is like 80. He's going. And realistically, he's about 60. Here we go. Fourth and five. He will go for it. So he brings pressure at all. He needs to play a lot of coverage in this game. Play of the game thus far. The heat and the deflection. Boy, Deion Sanders is all over the place. Yeah, that is such a difficult route to defend. You motion out that slant pattern. You can see here, right here, motion out the slant, but Deion Sanders, that is why you get a Deion Sanders on your roster because he's one of the best defenders at slowing down that motion out slant in the game. So great recognition right there from Nini. Once again, making the defensive plays he needs to win this matchup. Hot take from Gibbs, Deion Sanders is good. <laughs> First and 10 for Nini, and he'll throw it away. Very, Nini is just a very smart old school player. Yeah, he, he, he protects the ball, 
ball control, possession, he, he changes, I mean, here's the thing, he changes up his play call so well. And, and really what I like the most is that he recognized that Monster doesn't want to generate pressure, so he's going to an empty look. But take a look at this, Monster gonna dial up a blitz here, potentially. Able to pick it up on second and 10, and Jimmy Graham, welcome to the game, first down. Yeah, so right now you're seeing a, a little bit of the dollar coverage right here from Monster. He has the ability to blitz out of this now. Uh, that might take uh, that might take Nini out of this empty set. Now he's back into his coverage defense. Here's again, a little rollout, Tyra Taylor, find a guy, dink and dunk. And he'll throw it away once again, nobody open. Doesn't want to take the chance downfield, and why not? You got the lead. Well, you, when you throw the ball downfield, yeah, good things can happen, but when you're rolling out the pocket, you can, be, you can sometimes force things. That's where you've seen interception from, from Monster so far in this game as well. Five wide once again. He picks up the pressure, let's go. Only bringing two. Spike. And there is Julio at the end of the dot. That was beautiful, that was a beautiful play right here. Watch, pressure gets picked up at the left edge. He rolls out a little bit to the right, sets his feet, delivers a strike down the sideline. There are three catches in Madden 17, uh, uh, Scott. You're able to go a possession catch, rack catch, and aggressive catch. Right there, he goes possession to keep his toes in bounds. Yeah, he was holding down A the whole way. And finally, Lawrence Taylor gets to the quarterback, second and 22. And yeah, there it is, Lawrence Taylor, all that coverage. We wins the one-on-one -on -one battle at the top of the broadcast. Lawrence Taylor is the guy to watch. Right now, one sack, three tackles in this game for Monts' defense. The only good thing about that, more room to work for Nini, just outside the red zone. Playmakers Beautiful. to Graham who takes it to the 16. How good does a touchdown look right now for Nini? How good would that look? Take a look here, a little, little pop pass outside to the sideline, little playmaker to the right side, Jimmy Graham. Gets yourself into a manageable third and 11 spot. Eating up a majority of the third quarter. Almost three minutes gone by on this drive. It throws off his back foot. Graham reaches for the first down, but he's gonna be short fourth and two. And you gotta take the points, right, Gibbs? Yeah, it is a tough spot. He's thinking about it. He knows what's uh, uh, what's at stake here. Because if he can go up 10, two scores in the way he's playing defense, but he's gonna take the points in the way, again, the way he is playing defense, six point lead is still better than a three point lead. Did not use much Marshawn Lynch on that drive. And now Monster. The empty look has really been the difference in this one. I, I, you know, changing it up, going to a, a, a passing offense that really gives you the, the ability to attack a coverage-style defense that you're seeing from Monster. It's really the smart, smart move in terms of a strategy. Far play action. This time he gives it to Johnson, who trucks nothing. It doesn't have to because he moves to the 47. Well, trucks nothing but, but air there, but still gets down the field for about a 30-yard game. Well, the other thing that truck did there was sort of like a hesitation. Yeah. The defender flew by. Man, Monster gets the ball out so quick, doesn't he? I mean, all of his passes, it's, it's just a little play fake, and boom, get the ball out of your hands as quick as possible. I wish I could play like that. I'm just telling you, he's play action into Reynolds, but he's, he, he's never actually handed the ball to him. Look how quick. And one-handed pickoff! Wow! Buchanan on the back end with the play of the day. Yeah, and, and I think just like that, watch here. He's a little PA fake, but he throws into double coverage, and you get the interception. Great animation, Buchanan. And that is the third pick we've seen thus far today in this matchup for Monster. It's been what's taken him out of tournaments in the past, and it looks like it could be what takes him out of this tournament today. Yeah, you mentioned that. Off the top. When he's rocking and rolling, he's feeling good, no, but he faces looking, some yeah. adversity. That's the difference. Taylor. Could he try to pick up the blitz? Couldn't, but he finds Jerry Rice, who quickly goes down to the 26 yard line. You know what I really just love about Nini's game? He always gives himself a underneath release route, right? So he always seems to have that hot route, that hot read that if there's pressure coming, he'll dump it off to that drag and he always takes it. That's so difficult to do. The discipline to be able to hang in on something like that, it, it just shows his experience. And Marshawn Lynch totes it for the first down to the 35 yard line. And this third quarter is flying by. Taylor. Could run if he wants to, and he will. 
He slides down after a gain of six, seven yards. They're going to give him seven yards, second and three. And once again, we're seeing Taylor, his the effectiveness of his mobility, being able to stretch the defense, pick up positive yards on plays where if you don't have a mobile quarterback, you're not getting any positive yards. Three yards a gain here on second down. About three, four seconds separate the play and game clock. Lynch. No, sir. We'll head to the fourth quarter. The underdog, Nene, will take the lead into the final five minutes. Yeah, and, you know, he's another impressive performance here. He's forced the three interceptions. As this fourth quarter unfolds, who's going to rise up? You have Nene making all the plays right now. Monsta, one of the better players in the world right now. But right now, he needs to stop turning the ball over, get his offense back in order. In the closing minutes here in the fourth quarter. That's if he gets the ball back. Third and four, big play for Monster Hill on the defensive side of the ball. Taylor throws it into coverage, and Rice cannot pull it in. Yeah, this is this is a, this is a tough man spot right here. You can see he throws it to Rice, trying to make a play, diving catch, doesn't come down with it. But now fourth down. A lot of times you you think, eh, I should probably punt here, but. This is how you win a Madden game. So few possessions that every single possession matters more. And the thought here, Scott, is, hey, if I if I don't get it, I'm going to reduce the amount of time my opponent right. has the ball exactly. when they get the ball back. Shorten the field, shorten the time, shorten the possession. Fourth and four. Moves Julio across the formation. He's coming. Taylor, got to get rid of it. And he won't. Boy, you got to throw that up, even if it's a long punt. Yeah, and, and that's exactly the, the worry you had here. You can see clean pressure off that edge. Even Tyrod Taylor can't escape. Good user underneath by Mons defending those quick, short drags over the middle of the field. And just like that, he comes back, delivers a strike. Brandon Cook's going to get in for six. So Nini in control. And one play later, Monsa, extra point pending, will take the lead. And it's blocked! It will stay tied in the fourth. Dear, oh, M.G. Dear Diary. That's a Dear Diary <laughs> entry right there. One time I was playing Monster, the 15th ranked player in the world. I was about to go down one point, and I stopped the extra point. Wow. So tied at 13 with 444 to go. And look at it. Right up the gut. Watch tight end, watch tight end. Big number 52. Oh, Unbelievable. Oh, That's why you play the game. Usually you see those block field goals come from the edge. A couple deep crossers. Got, Got a him. man deep. It's Randy Moss. And it's a touchdown for Nene. Okay. Uh, unbelievable. Back and forth we go. Monster can't believe it. Nene still hasn't smiled. We need a <laughs> smile counter. Do we have that graphic anywhere? Zero, one, two. Yeah, no one needs to update it. It's just, maybe it's one but at listen, this point. Beautiful route combinations downfield. He runs a deep cross and then a, another deep cross underneath it. It makes it really difficult for the deep uh, safeties to determine where to go. He got time in the pocket. There was no pressure. All that coverage defense that we've been seeing from Monster finally comes back to bite him. He gets the one play touchdown right there. And just like that, he's on top seven. The legend version of Randy Moss has given Nini, the underdog, seven-point lead with 4.31 to go. This game's fantastic. It's a great game. Best game of the day thus far. Scott Cole, Stephen Gibbons along with you. Here live from Levi Stadium. Monster and Nini battling it out in the Classic. A little pass out of the backfield to the halfback. A lot of times that's where you see it. Uh, a great way to attack these cover two defense and the reason for it you run vertical patterns with your receivers outside they'll pull those flats out and then you have the underneath uh, route to the halfback go short again david johnson this time has the defenders there that's like me in the backyard hey hold that guy up i'm gonna come over here and smash one <laughs> try and take him out but no the, now we get into a third down spot here monster looking focused nini looking focused both these guys know what's at stake here if you're Monsta, you feel pretty confident you're going to get into the championship series for $500,000 later in April. But if you're Nini, you know you need to win this game to get a shot at going to the championship series. Lunch to the right, throws it back to the left. 
And a great play call on third and six. That's that little leak pass again out of the backfield. You put a, your halfback on an out pattern, those verticals will pull those flats deep. That opens up a lot of space underneath your halfback. Favre. And this time, Harrison Smith says, I'm tired of it. A little forearm shiver right there, right to the face right there. Harrison Smith playing up at a corner spot. That's something to know. He's typically a safety, but he's in here at corner. Cooks over the middle, and Anthony Barr. It's, it's starting to be a hit fest. Yeah, here, here we go. We're starting to get that up-tempo offense we see so often for Monza. It's a little play-action fake, snap throws all over the field. Now, we've seen it work for him. We've also seen it be a negative thing for him. First time right here, going back to the bunch here on the, uh, this drive. Yeah, bunch to the left. Johnson to the right of Favre. Little motion. Had Julio, and he threw it behind him. Threw it late and behind him. Yeah, and you know, and, and he put him on a slant, which is a little more aggressive right there. The, the quick in could have been, been a little uh, more advantageous for him, but you can see, yeah, he threw it behind him. Bad timing on that throw, uh, the pitch and catch right there. He yeah, had some pressure in his face, and now the play of the game thus far, fourth and six, 3.14 to go. Looking, finds Julio and gets the first down. If you notice, Julio got caught up in the line there, almost like a delayed release. Yeah, you go right back to the well. That's the same exact play he ran previously, the delayed slant to Julio Jones. This time he converts for the huge first down of fourth and six. Bunch to the right. Cameron's the tight end in the slot. Julio, solo left, now joined by Cooks. Watch Jones deep here. Oh, didn't get the time in the pocket. Huge sack from Houston. He does it IRL and he does it in the game. Yeah, Justin Houston, that was one of the guys here. You can see one-on-one -on -one matchup off that edge. He gets the block shed against two offensive linemen. And that is how you win a ball game right there if you're Nini. So 2.25 to go. Second and 22. Favre, quick throw. And a good tackle there on the edge. And so third and 19. Here we go, here's a third and 19 spot. Let's go. 48-yard line, he's got 19 to go, and that's the two-minute warning. Third and 19, you can't get all the yards right here. You can't, you gotta think, how do I make myself get a manageable fourth down? Because if you go for it here, third, fourth and 19 is a bad spot to be in. So how can I get about 10 yards on this play? Watch Cooks towards that left sideline. Third and 19, here the two minute warning. Favre, they pick up the blitz, gives it to Johnson, that's a big time stiff arm. Oh, and he reaches for it. What an individual play by Monsta. Yeah, that's what makes players like David Johnson great. They win individual matchups, one broken tackle, two broken tackle, fall forward for a third, and here we go, fourth and down. Yeah, and he's gonna go for the hurry up here. I think mostly just so Nini couldn't change his formation and the substitutions. And he has Randy Moss open at the 19. Beautiful play design right here. That's, here's why it worked. He had, uh, Nini had to protect the short flat, so he played a hard flat. That's telling his flat defenders, I would want you to protect the short part of the field. It opens up the deep route behind it. And once again, oh, and it's a drop from Cooks. It's tough. Well, if you throw the same round about 20 times and they <laughs> drop it once. It's give or take, okay, all right. But that was a huge drop. Big drop, but listen, it kind of gives him time to breathe, taking the moment here. He's going at an extremely fast pace the way he plays. Maybe we'll sit down and think about it for a second here. Plus, if you get a touchdown here, you're hoping to maybe, at this point, you need to be thinking about forcing overtime. How, or, or do you get a quick score and play, try to play defense? That's the question. Or how diabolic would it be if you get the touchdown and then you go for two? You, you just throw the two up. <laughs> well, there's a lot of options, but first he's got to get there. Third and two from the 10. Quick throw. Knocked down by Barr, so it's a fourth down. And there's no question he's going for it with 68 seconds remaining in the game. Yeah, he's got to give himself a couple options towards the end zone and a couple underneath drags as well. And he'll hand it off for the first time today to Reynolds. Who? One rush, five yards. Most important rush of the game. You don't see this very often. He goes play action a lot out of this formation. 
but this time he gives it to Reynolds. Falls forward for the first down. Now we're in business. Ball at the six yard line. Keenan Reynolds. Who? Picks up the first down. Goes to David Johnson. He takes it to the four. 30, uh, 58 seconds to go. Timeout used. Yeah, at some point, when are we going to see a, a pass in the back of the end zone? We really haven't seen much of that here today. It's been a lot of running the ball, a lot of mm -hmm. quick underneath drag patterns. Uh, but the way a lot of the top players in the world like to score down in this area, get the ball up high to one of your uh, big body receivers, like Jordan Cameron. Second and goal from the four. Under a minute to go. And throws it out of the end zone. I thought I was about to see the PA in the route. Yeah, the PA in the route. Shout out Madden 15. So third and goal at the four. Mom spaghetti? This is not mom spaghetti time. We're not there yet. I'll Still not there know. yet. All right, let okay, you know. let me know. I'll let you know. It's one chance, one opportunity, but it's not, we're not there yet. So third and goal, and he finds a wide open Julio Jones. Throw up the two. Throw up the two. Do it. So we get the crowd in oh, here, okay. and he's going <laughs> to take the extra point. He's going to take it. That's the smart thing to do here. You take the extra point. Although, Nini did stuff one earlier. Yeah, he did block an extra <laughs> point, and that's the reason we're locked up at 20. Important thing to remember here, though. 50 seconds still to go. A field goal would win it. Yeah, and you have one timeout if you're Nini. 50 seconds, that's all the time in the world here. You you need balls in the 25, you need another 20. I gotta break I gotta break the math up in sections. You get 25 yards to get to the 50, and you need to get to the 40, so you need about 35 yards. <laughs> I really had to break it up. I was that told way. there'd be no word problems. I, I, I mean, come on now. How fast will train A get to train B if they leave at the same time? First and ten from the 50. Five wide. Taylor drops back, makes the pass, but Randy Moss can't hold on. Yeah, that's a bad start to this drive right now because if you take a look at Monster, he's got all three of his timeouts. Uh, so if we get a couple quick uh, possessions here, no time off the clock, Monster would get a chance here to get his own game winning field goal. I got Gold Rush on stage here with me. <laughs> San Francisco 49ers mascot giving me some pro tips. 45 seconds to go. Good heat off the edge. Yeah, great change of pace right now, though, for Monza. Okay, what we were saying earlier in the game, we were seeing the, all that coverage, for, and then uh, Nini then goes to uh, the empty set to kind of combat that. Now, though, Monza, what's he doing? He's dialing up the blitz, which is now making uh, Nini have to leave the empty. But now, look, he comes back to coverage. So, cat and mouse game. So, third and ten. 40 seconds left in this one. Got to be careful. Uh -oh. And we got a little motion. We got a little movement. That doesn't help. False start. That'll back him up five, third and 15. The rare false start. Yeah, here and here's the tough spot now, right? Third and 15, very difficult to convert in these situations. And monster has got all three of his timeouts. If he does convert, get some yards here, uh, you'll see a timeout. And then he's got two timeouts. And that might be mom spaghetti time. Tied up 2020 in semifinal number one. Winner moves on to the finals with a chance to go to Burbank. A lot of Ohio's. I didn't hear any Omaha's. Here comes Taylor. And can't get rid of it. And you got to punt it away. Yeah, nightmare situation. Monster's got all three of his timeouts. You can see he had the halfback right here. If he delivers that ball, a, 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 a second sooner right there, he would have been able to convert that, but uh, the pressure too quick forces the incomplete pass, and here we go. Needs a big punt, and he doesn't want a chance to return, and they'll mark that at the 40. 20 yards to get to field range. Who's his kicker? We, we mentioned it before. Tucker. Big Tucker. Are you taking notes over there? Justin Tucker. <laughs> yes. Justin Tucker. He can boot it from 40. So first and 10, 31 seconds to go. Massa goes to the running game. He can do that. He's got all three of his timeouts. So I like that on first down, trying to you know catch him in a, a pass commit situation. Uh, in a pass commit, that's when you tell your defense, hey, guys, I think it's going to be a pass. So play the pass, not the run. So uh, you catch him in a pass commit, you run, you can trample all over him. 
throw it, finds Randy Moss on second and seven. So now the ball's at the 45. Here we go. Has one timeout remaining. It's about five yards. The 62 yarder from there. It's about five yards. Beautiful little slant right there to Moss. If there's a guy that has a five yard play, it's Monster. He's been able to dink and dunk his way all down the field. These little quick play action uh, pop passes would have worked well for him. So first and 10, 21 seconds to go. Johnson, big hit from Khalil Mack, who blocked an extra point earlier in the game, okay. and that's why we're locked at 20. Monster used a timeout in the previous play when the clock was stopped. He now has no timeouts. This is going to be a tough spot for him here. If he passes the ball over the middle of the field, the clock will tick away. Will he have time to kick a field goal? So no timeout, 17 seconds remaining in this one. Nothing's open. He'll throw it, and he finds Julio, who gets out of bounds at the 23. The 22nd completion of the game for Brett Favre, and it's an absolute dart. Yeah, and Nini had a defender in position, just couldn't quite get there. Early field goal here, huh? Did he kick that full power? He doesn't need it, it's Tucker. So anticlimactic, he'll take a three-point lead with seven seconds to go. And the best players in the world find ways to win in the late game. And he's going to go. He's got one timeout. He's going to be careful here. And he's at the 46. You could, you could run the ball here. He knows he made a mistake there. You could run the ball. You got one timeout. You got to fall forward, and then you got to kick a big, long field goal here. He adds Josh Scobie, who's an amazing golfer, but I don't know if he has that range. Yeah, and, and right now, that's the decision you were talking about before. If you don't take a field goal kicker on your roster, this is where it hurts you. Quick slant, quick drag, get down, call timeout, kick a field goal. I don't think you have time. At the yeah. very least, you talked about what we said about maybe running the ball. Now he's going and for now the he's going to have to get the glory. This is for the win, the whip! And there's no knee knee, and it's over. Monster will move on to the finals. What a game by both of these two competitors. The game of the day thus far. Nini put on a show for everyone here, but Monster battles back from some adversity in that first half where he threw those three interceptions. He got his game right. He made the plays he needed to make, and he is moving on. I'll be honest with you. I, I'm, I'm kind of shocked because I thought Nini had this game in the bag and sort of lit him off the hook. Yeah, it, it really came down that last possession. You, you, you saw uh, the change of offense that we saw from Monsta. He also changed up his defense late in that fourth quarter. It really started to shut down that empty set. He had no, uh, Nini had no answer to pick up some of those blitzes in that empty set once Monsta changed his defense up. So great second half adjustments for Monsta. That's why he's moving on. So Monsta is moving on to the finals. He's also standing by with our man, Joe Fan. Yeah, guys, at some point, someone's got to create the phrase March Madness. I think we should coin it here because that was absolutely bananas. Tense moments for our top seed. He pulls it out. You got a slow start. What, what makes Nini so difficult defensively? You put up over 30 points in the first game. Really struggled to get the offense going in this one. Uh, he, he crossed me a lot. That kind of uh, threw me off, but I adjust and got the job done. What's the feeling when you see the PAT blocked when you're about to take the lead? Uh, I wasn't really worried. It's just one point. I'm going to win by more than that. The confidence doesn't waver. I love that. But it takes some guts to dr a running play with a former Navy quarterback, Keenan Reynolds. It's your only run of the entire game on fourth down with the game on the line. Take me uh, through that play call. Uh, I knew he wasn't going to expect it. I always do that. Uh, four downs, I'll run the ball. I ain't scared to do it, and I, it, it worked. Expectations for the championship? What do you got? You got to watch the next semi. Any, what, do you, what you got your eye on? Uh, I mean, they're both good players. I think Schema might come out. Uh, I'll be prepared for them, and hopefully, you know, I get the job done next game. Monster, our top seed, is headed to the finals. He's got the winner for semi number two. That's coming up next. Gentlemen, back to you. Thank you so much.